Okay, so I'm not sure about this eye look right now, but I'm I committed to this look and I wanted to film, so be gentle, be kind with this eye look. It's a lot going on. The under eyes, I look like I got beat up or something. I don't know what's going on. Hey gorgeous ones. All right, so it's time for Sunday premiere night. And as all and I am working on making sure that I do longer videos for the premieres because I do enjoy chatting with you all and not being in front of a camera. And just being able to type like you all is so under, please bear with me if you like, why is she always doing these Sunday premieres? Because it's my way of being able to chat and talk and laugh in reference to a video without me being right there, you all looking at me and so we can share it together. So anyway, what I wanted to talk, this, this Sunday premiere is going to be my spring essentials i won't say spring essentials but my og spring makeup this is the og spring makeup that i've been wearing for the last few years you know always pull out around this time of year getting ready to be all into spring and everything so if you would like to see my og spring makeup don't go anywhere. This look, just in case you want to know, was made with Menagerie Cosmetics Feral and the Dragon Child um, palette. If you would like, to, I actually have filmed it, but eh, I wasn't sure about it. So, But if you would like to see it, let me know and I will actually post it. All right, so let's get started with face products because I always like to start out with face, then lips, then eye pro, then you know the eye palettes because that's just the way I think I like to like talk about them. And we're gonna swatch today because I want to make sure we have a nice at least 30 minute video. Now, bronzes, of course, are bronzes, are bronzes, are bronzes, so I won't go into those, but let's talk blushes and highlights. Gonna start with face palettes and then we'll move on to single products. This became one of my favorites. This is the Lord. Y'all know I'm a, a Laura Geller fan, right? I really do like her products. I have become a fan girl of Laura Geller too. This is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator Palette. It has Ballerina, Gilded Honey, and Peach Glow. Now, never mind. That's, it's okay. Now, of course, everybody does Gilded Honey. That is the one. But my actual one that I love is Peach Glow because y'all know I love a peachy gold highlight. And so that's the one I use the most. Gilded Honey every once in a while. Ballerina is nice too. But the one that it was my go-to was the, uh, the Peach Glow. Next up is this, which is the Urban Decay Afterglow Palette. I think you can still get this sometimes. Um... And my favorite out of this, and I know this got kind of bad reviews, but I'm going to tell you why. It got bad reviews because it's more so for someone of a medium to deeper complexion. I love ONS right here. It's, this is such a pretty peachy highlighter. And so I know people, oh, I personally like this palette. Cliché is a beautiful gold if you want a gold one. Just beautiful, but this is really good for medium to, um, you know, deeper, a little bit deeper skin tones. And I think that's why some people didn't like it because it just wasn't for them. It just wasn't. When it comes to blush palettes, the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 is one of my favorites. This palette is just hands down a beautiful palette that they really went and came up with colors that you could use all the time. I mean, honestly, if you were going to have one palette, I would suggest this. I think this is a beautiful palette. This is for medium tan, tan to a little bit. Um, ugh, what's going on? I got something in my eye. Hold on. Okay, so this is just beautiful. It has a couple of shimmers. You can use this one, Zoba, more as a, a blush topper if you're into that. But really, it gives you a really nice range of blush um, uh, shades so that you can have something to wear in almost every occasion. Now, this is one of my favorites and I, such a favorite that I want more of these. This is the LA Color So Cheeky uh, Blush and Highlight Palette in Peaches and Cream. This is such a cute, cute 
peach and cream, obviously, um, peachy, peachy, corally, uh, warm, summer, shimmery, um, blushes. Like, look at this. This is such a beautiful shimmer blush right there. I love shimmer blushes in the spring and summer because it's all about that beautiful flush and glow. But hands down, what I love in this, now it is starting to get a little, it's not the, you know, is this peach? Y'all see, y'all, are y'all seeing a, um, <laughs> are you all seeing a, uh, pattern this peachy beautiful highlighter right there this one is nice but it's just a little light for me not my style but it is a beautiful beautiful highlighter also so if you wanted that and for the price these are nice they're not super uh, powdery they've got just enough slip in them that you can really use these and then this this one right here you a little brown or child look at this right here if this isn't beautiful for a deeper skin tone right there please this little la colors y'all sleeping on that one i only found it because i saw it on shop hush real for real because i never saw anybody talking about it it's not something people like yes the la colors so cheeky so those are the um the palettes that i've been that i've been uh reaching for those are my ogs now let's talk blush when it comes to blush um, I don't think this will be up, but I will be taught doing, I have a video about uh, neutral nude blushes, but this is one, these are my favorite blushes by Tarte. This is uh, Seduce. This is one of the natural ones right here. So this is a really pretty color for, you know, so, uh, Tarte has a whole line of these natural nude color blushes that are so gorgeous. It's just ridiculous. And then Glisten. And Glisten is one of my favorite blushes of all times. It's such a, that coral, that peachy pink with a little gold reflex to it. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this on. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing uh, one of these blushes. I forgot. I'm wearing one of my uh, blushes out of here. Totally forgot about that. I am wearing Lena today, which is right here, that beautiful uh, corally pink color here in this one. And then on my on here, I have, uh, what am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing the cheeky. I have that cheeky blush highlighter on right there. See what I'm talking about? Do y'all see that glow? Okay, let's go on. And Urban Decay, and I know Urban Decay has not been hitting too well. And I think they... It, I, I think they have kind of discontinued their blushes. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Urban Decay, y'all actually have good blushes. Could y'all please bring them back? This one is Crush. It's very, you know, it's a nice pinky uh, blush. And I really do love this packaging. I'm sorry. I love this packaging. And then I have Score, which is a very um, peachy. It's similar to Glisten, but it's a little more pinky toned. And not quite as shimmery, but it's got a little shimmer in it. So that's what uh, score. And now uh, highlight us. Oh, I'm sorry, forgot about this one. And then this is uh, pink passion. Hold on for a second. Okay, I'm back. Before I get into highlighters, let me finish blushes because I forgot all about my ABHs. Now, let's talk first. I forgot to pull this out. This is the blush kit, the Radiant Blush Kit that Anastasia did, I think, 2017 for Christmas. These, I don't, she bought them on Christmas, but these are really beautiful spring tones right there that pink right there is gorgeous this little dusty rosy color is gorgeous and then these peachy colors child whatever and when it comes down to her blush trios um they are on sale right now but you can oh, you can find these at um marshall's and stuff for 10.99 9.99 so go ahead and check there's only one that hasn't been there yet and it's irritating me but these are definitely there so i'm just letting you know this is peachy love these beautiful peachy corally colors like this one right here is just gorgeous oh oh man and so i love it because they have such a variety of of shades in here and i if you're one of those mixers you can mix it like you can mix this one with this one and tone down this one and or, you know, for someone with a deeper complexion, you might want to like add a little something. I'm just saying this; these are very versatile. They're very, very versatile. 
very versatile, very versatile. And then, of course, Pink Passion, which is right here. Come on now. I don't even have to tell you about this, really. I mean, it's pink. It's passionate. It's spring. I mean, spring calls for pink. Pink is spring. And this, this color right here, you know, for a long time, I didn't know they had names on the back of these until I, I have to look really good. And I was like, oh, look, they got names. So, yeah, this... <laughs> I am really bad about looking at the back of, of things and seeing if it, the name ain't on the front. I don't think they have names. I'll be like, you know that pink color. You know that pink color in there. <laughs> All right. And then and then finally, Dolce Pink by Milani. I talk about this all the time because this is my favorite Milani one. I know everybody loves Luminoso, but this Dolce Pink is the business to me. Look at how beautiful that is. That is the business. It's that pinky, peachy gold with the gold reflect. Oh, so pretty on the skin. So pretty. Now, when it comes to highlighters, let's talk highlighters. These are two highlighters I love. These are the Essence Pure Nude ones. This is in highlighter and sunlighter. Highlighter is the original formula, which is very, you know, very pale, almost just a just a natural sheen on the see that sheen right there see that sheen just a natural sheen on the cheeks and then if you're a little bit darker and then if you're a little bit darker you can always do sunlighter and sunlighter is a beautiful um i can wear it but, it, you know, it's definitely for someone with a deeper complexion because I can wear them both. I wear this more in the summer when I get a little bit of a tan, but I can, but I can rock it because right now it's, gives me, it's giving me peach vibes. It's giving me that peach vibe. And, you know, the peach vibe is serious business for me. The peach vibe is everything. Now, the, on, the other OGs that I use are these e.l.f. shimmer highlighting powders. Now, when I say this, I have, of course, I have other highlighters, but these I'm, I have to put away because I wear these all the time. Now, this is Topaz Glow right here. Mm -mm -mm. This one right here is something about it that I just absolutely adore. Look at that. It's such a beautiful, deep, peachy, um, you know, peachy gold right there. You know that giving you that peachy gold vibe. Oh, yes. And people are sleeping on these shimmer highlighting powders. I know people talk about them, but I don't find them that powdery. And now this is Island Glow. Now, I cannot remember which one they discontinued. Is it Island Glow or Topaz Glow? But one of these, because I went on the elf side and I couldn't find it. Now, I'm going to tell you for real, these are a little dry, but when you put them on the skin, they are freaking gorgeous. And this is this almost looks like, and I wish I had bought it and I slept on it, that creamsicle that Becca came out with. Because this definitely has an orange vibe to it, but a beautiful um, orange, but kind of melony. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's kind of got an orange vibe, but not too orange that you can't wear it. It's like a wearable orange highlight. That's what it is. All right, so next up, let's talk about lipsticks. <sighs> Stop the presses. I forgot a highlighter. I knew it was so, I just seemed like I wasn't saying enough. This is the Master Chrome. This is one of the Maybelline Master Chromes. And if you notice, I have quite a few um, affordable drugstore highlighters. This is the Master Chrome. This is in Molten Peach. Now, let, hear me out. When you look at it, it is seen when I saw when you see it, it is very glittery in the pan, very glittery. But when you put it on the skin, it is not. And this is just a beautiful peach color. So it has glitter. But once you buff it into the skin, the glitter goes away and you get that Maybelline Master Chrome shine because we know that master chrome is a the original master chrome is awesome so this one has a little more glitter so i'm saying that so if you have texture you might want to steer clear of it but it's not so much glitter that it's like blinding and it's tacky i absolutely like because when i first saw, i was like oh no this is not gonna work and then i had then i opened it and tried it and i was like oh shit this is cute, y'all. So 
I'm just saying, if you see the molten peach and you think that it has too much glitter, trust me, try it. You, you could like it. All right, so let's go on to the lip products. All right, so let's talk lipstick. So I'm going to start with tubes, and then we're going to go into the liquid ones and everything and just really drill down into some into some lip products. Now, first things first are... Let's talk about the Colorishes. These are the L'Oreal Colorish Shines. I found these last year and I became slightly obsessed with them. I became slightly obsessed to the point that I have quite a few of them now. I don't know where the rest of these are. I have some newer ones, but these are the ones I already had. Love them, love them, love them. So here are the ones. And this began because I was on a quest for pink lipstick because I said I didn't have my pinks for the for the season and I low I said I don't have enough pink so I had to go out and start looking for pinks so it started out with these two which is glazed pink and once I got this I was like oh snap I really like this and oh let me wipe off my hand and I was like oh now these are this the lip balmy lip colors and I'm telling you don't buy them 30 something dollar ones when you can buy these 10 dollar ones so here is this and they're so beautiful on the skin this is glazed pink right here such a pretty pretty pink and like they do they give you this very bomb feeling your lips are nice and hydrated beautiful colors and then there's dewy petal right here and this is a um a lighter pink they're really easy to, you know, on the lips. And when you wear them, they're just so um, effortless and gorgeous. Then I got burnish, bl Burnished Blush. This one. You all see that nice, beautiful rosy tone? You can't go wrong with a rosy tone. And then finally, Luminous Coral. I was... And I'm going to show you all how much, how much I've used them. Now, you know, to have these only for a few... For a little while and I have them go down that much. Man, I might have to get get new ones. And that's Luminous Coral. I know. I know y'all like, wow, that's so cute. Now, next up is ColourPop. This is OU. And this was from the Makeup Shayla uh, collab. And so this is it right here. And it's such a pretty, it's so bright on the lips. It is such a nice, beautiful peachy coral. Um, and it, once again, if it seems a little too bright, lip liner. Lip liner is your friend. And then I have this one, which is Come On Sis, which is from her, her, uh, her, uh, her collab also and this is more of a deep rose this is one of my deeper colors that i've that i've been wearing in the springtime and summer and then finally big break and this is of course another pinky color that i got so this is more of a pink a, a lighter rose a more pinky rose right there beautiful color right there next up is I have this Lorac one. This is in, and I need to get some more because Lorac lipsticks and lip glosses are so underrated. Let's just talk. They're so underrated. This is Goddess. This is a beautiful, cool toned mauve right there. Oh, just enough gray in it, but just so perfect to wear. And then we have this. This has been one of my favorites for quite some time. I'm probably going to need to replace it soon because I'm probably going to hit pan on it this is the bite um what is this called the matte cream lip crayons and this is in glace and this is just like so pretty on i just love it it's similar to burn to this one right here which is what um the the come on sis but it's uh so they're very similar right there if you can notice that but i have been wearing this thing for years now um i'm probably almost done with it too this might be gone soon uh next up are the some smashbox ones i have this is mauve these are all the mattes because y'all know i love a matte lipstick so this is the mauve one and i will say first they have a really good smell to them but they also have a really good finish on the lips. They're not too dry, yet they are matte enough to be a matte. Got a little creaminess to them, but just enough. Now, this is Latte Matte right here. And this is the Latte one. And that's such a pretty nude color. You know, it's a very brown toned, yellow, to yellow toned nude. 
And finally, and this is the one I have on right now. This is called Pinch Me. Beautiful coral color. Look at that coral right there. You can't beat that. So, you know, you need, and it's the year of the coral anyway. So pinch me right here. <laughs> All right. N next up is liquid, liquid lipsticks. No, I'm going to do lip glosses first. I only got a couple of those. Now, I have a lot of lip glosses. Y'all know I do. But these in particular, I wanted to talk about. You can still get these. These are the Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Glosses. This one is in, this is what, I can never see. This is Rose Quartz and Seashell. And I have three of these. And they're still available on the Becca site. They are half price. So if you want them, get them. But these are such a like beautiful dual chromey one. This is Rose Quartz and Seashell. And when you wear it, it just has this beautiful duo chromey effect on your lips. Now, they do have this like kind of perfumey smell to them. But other than that, they're really nice. Now... I don't know what possessed me to buy it, but I did. This is the NARS Orgasm. This was in their lip lacquer. I think you can still get the lip lacquers. I know they're supposed to be limited edition, but I think they still have them. But I know when I first got it, I didn't like it. But then I started playing with it because this is a very thick formula. It's a very thick, almost to the point of sticky lip gloss. But that Orgasm Glow Baby, let's just put it on these lips to go with this. Do y'all see what that did to these lips? Do y'all see what they did to these lips? That's why I said, oh, okay, Nars. Okay, Nars, I see you. I see you. I I see you. I, I, I now see who you are, and I, and I believe in you. And I believe in you, Nars. Orgasm lip gloss is <laughs> beautiful, y'all. I ain't gonna sit up here and laugh. It is beautiful beautiful all right so let me get these off and let's go to these liquid lipsticks all right so these are let's gonna start here with these look with these these are um a few liquid lipsticks but they are not dry so these are the melted first off let me just go with this one this is the l'oreal this is one of the infallible paints this is in spice spicy blush this is the one i have still and this is such a pretty pretty uh, blush nude color for the lips. Now, remember, these do not dry down. They are almost like these newer versions now that are that high shine liquid lipsticks, which are now really popular. Then I also have these liquefied, these melted Too Faced. I have a couple of those. This is in Chihuahua. I This is one of them things I just adore. It's very similar to Spicy Blush but it's a little more brown toned on it. So it's like a rosy brown nude, but this is just so classic. You know, you just put it on, you know, you got the perfect lip color. And this is the melted in the melted chocolate. And they don't have many of these left. I think they still have chocolate honey, but I don't quote me on that. Um, and this is the one I have, and it's a very milk chocolatey brown. So it's one of those colors. If you like browns, it's a yellow tone brown right there. And if you're looking for a less not like a because i think of spring browns of like these colors like milk chocolatey colors you know yellow tone browns because they're not as deep as those deep chocolate deep deep dark chocolate ones and fudgy looking ones so that's why i like those all right next up i'm gonna give y'all some wet and wilds these two right here i love <laughs> now let me say this the liquid cat suits the metallic ones are not as nice as the regular liquid cat suits. <laughs> I will freely admit that. I don't even know where my Rebel Rose is, but Rebel Rose is one of my spring colors too. But these two I love for the spring and summer. This is Val Bali and Love. And like I said, they're, they're not the same formula. They're actually kind of dry and very sheer so the metallic ones are a little more sheer but that's kind of why i like them so this is Bal bally and love because and it's not that drying because i like this is gives you a very orgasm vibe to it if you look at it, it has a very orgasm look almost to that gloss and then this is honey glaze so these are these two and 
I wore the hell out of Bali in Love last year. I might almost be done with this one. I might need to get a new one. But this is Honey Glaze. So this is that really pretty, it's a really pretty nude metallic. But it's, I like these because they're not super metallic. These are more like a, a satiny sheen on the lips. So that's why I like these better. All right. Then from also from Too Faced is this. This is Queen Bee. This is a melted matte. You cannot go wrong with a melted matte. And this one is a classic, classic color. It's a, it's a beautiful mauve right there. Classic color. Hold up. She might. Oh, she might be going bad because she's smelling a little paint like so i might have to give this one up i even i haven't even had her that long oh bullshit next up <laughs> are these jordana liquid lipsticks the sweet cream mattes this one is in sugared plum and you know sometimes you need a little a, a nice spot of bright color on you sometimes you just need a little bright spot of bright color and that's that beautiful sugar you know light plum where it's not so vampy that it feels like a fall winter color but it's got enough vamp this is like a a, sum, a spring summer vamp you know that um more uh, raspberry out plum and then this is tiramisu right here put this right there and this is just a classic color. And I just did a really bad swatch. When you see it, don't say nothing to me. That swatch is terrible. But the color is beautiful. So I want you to see it right there. Um, they also have another one. What is it? Tiramisu. I have another one. I can't think of the name. And I, I didn't grab it. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a Clinique. I don't even buy Clinique. But I got this in a gift with purchase. And this is called Watermelon. <gasps> she is gorgeous. She looks like watermelon. It's a beautiful pinky, pinky watermelony, pinky rose color. I love this color. And now, um, when it, now speaking of pinks, let's go get some. Uh, well, let's finish these right here. So then I have also this by Ofra, which is Miami Fever, and it is such a beautiful. I'm I'm terrible with this stuff, so let me do this right here. Okay, so it's like a um brown out coral so it's got just enough brown in it to make it deeper so it's like an orangey color orangey coral but it has enough brown in it so it's not bad to wear and it looks so pretty with a nice warm tone spring look now got some rosy colors for us now this one is makeup monster and this is luna I'm not sure if she's brought this one back now that she's changed to Menagerie Cosmetics because, you know, with the change name change, I know she's putting out, she's bringing back some of the colors, but I don't know if this one has made it back yet and if it is going to come back. I hope it does because once I show it to you, you're going to want it. Now, the Makeup Monster, which is Menagerie Cosmetics, their formula is really nice. I do like their... Um, their liquid lipstick formula because it's lightweight, feels like water coming on your lips, dries down really nicely, does not crack, doesn't make you look like you are, you know, your lips have been sucked dry. And so this is Luna right here. And I really do love this color. It's more like this one is a more brighter. So you see how this has a little more gray in it. So this is much brighter, that sugar plum. And this is a, a little more... Um, muted this is like like a muted plum so i love it for the uh springtime then we have abh this is in craft beautiful pink beautiful pink right there okay she's still good you know listen you gotta check these things and this is a beautiful raspberry pink for the summer and then i have catnip catnip is one of my favorites i wear catnip all year though i ain't gonna lie and this is just a really pretty pinky rose color right there and then finally and i lit, missed another one i missed another one y'all and then this is the um rimmel stay matte in rose rose and shine rose and shine and if you see it right next this of course you know it's just a it's a rose it's a rose by any other name it's still a rose y'all and see how beautiful that rose is so yes i have a lot of roses with my lip lust for pink last year, I have Mon Ami by Stila. And I thought this, when I read that, now the Stila 
lip these are more matte and drying than the smashbox but this is mon ami so it's a it's a rosy tone i was looking for pink it was just more of a rosy tone rosy pink when i wanted a true pink color but anyway it is gorgeous on the lips no lies no lies here now i know we you know we're in here now we are in here but you know what's coming next y'all know what's coming next what everybody loves y'all know y'all love them too eyeshadow palettes be right back okay so now let's i know y'all wondering like you right back no i i took a break i had to put away some things <laughs> all right so being realistic when it comes down to my eyeshadow palettes i have more new eyeshadow palettes for the spring and kind of summer than i have old ones from last year so i'm just going to show you these og stuff that i have now y'all know that i love the city minis and real real talk this is when i really started getting into my city mini obsession so the first one is downtown sunrise this is such a pretty warm tone peachy vibe oh this has this me and this we've been we've been riding and dying and doing our thing together love this one so much then this one right here which is my um blushed avenue city palettes this now y'all know i love pink palettes but this is such a cute pretty beauty this is such a pretty pink palette for somebody who's just starting out who does who doesn't want to spend a lot on them but wants a nice beautiful i'm telling you these are awfully good for a range of colors i will have to do that for you guys remind me about that, that i got to do my city mini one this one right here um now i did get this kind when did i get this did i get this in the fall i might have got this in the fall and forgot to tell y'all about it i think i did this is the pinks and palms by um smashbox y'all see how cute she is she just this mint green right here just screams screams uh spring and look at those pinks over there they just scream pink they just scream pink they do scream pink but they scream spring so you gotta have that now this right here y'all know this is one of my favorite hey this is one of my favorite juvia's place palettes and it is just just a gorgeous spring palette and like i i think we kind of mentioned that my take me to paris palette by maybe cosmetics is very similar to this but it's a more muted version but this is such a pretty pretty this is so pretty to me this coral is everything that's a uh, creme right there that right there is everything and that mint green you cannot mess with that mint green right there you you can't mess with that mint green you cannot say shit to that mint green, but what's up, lover? I'm just, I'm just telling you, you cannot. But let me go back to this Blush Avenue. Let me show y'all, because I always talk about it, but I never swatch the Blush Avenue. Let me show y'all some beauty, beautifuls about this Blush Avenue. This deep one right here, look at that. Now, they build up so beautifully on the skin. They give you this gorgeous colors. And this right here is this one right here. This, they feel so soft when you play with them. Now, this is a very beautiful light shimmer that gives you just enough pop. And this is a really pretty one for someone with a mature eyes, um, eyelids, because it will, it will, um, stay right underneath. You know what I'm saying? It will give you a shimmer without, for people who are like, Oh, I don't want to have it because I were I've got wrinkly eyelids. This is beautiful because it'll give you a beautiful sheen, beautiful shimmer without you feeling kind of um self-conscious, without you feeling self-conscious about your eyes. Cause there's no reason to be self-conscious about your eyes. Cause honey, you've lived long and, and had life for those wrinkles. We you got life behind you for them so don't let nobody tell you you can't wear what you want to okay but that's another conversation now these two i'm going to show you but i'm actually going to be winding up sending these off to someone if they just send me their address this is the this is the Lorac mega pro 4 and it's a really i mean you can look at it and see how pretty it is for spring you can see all these 
up this upper row of mattes are just gorgeous. The shimmers are to die for. And they really do, you know, give you enough deepening colors. But it gives you these beautiful pastels. Like one of my favorite colors is Flamingo. Now this is not for deeper skin tones. I'm just going to be real with you. This is not for anybody with a deeper skin tone. But for someone who can wear it, it's such a pretty color. Just has these beautiful ones. And then this, what is it? My favorites. This right here. Now, you know, Lorac shadows are very soft. So this is a fairy tale. And look at that right there. Look at that beautiful dual chromy purple right there. Oh, that's Lotus. I'm sorry. So it has some beautiful, beautiful shimmers in it. Now to go with it, I actually have... Um, what is it called? I love brunch pat beauty suit brunch eye palette or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's a very this is a serious pastel. I mean, like serious pastel. You can't have no color to wear this. I have to go really light on my on my complexion, on my colors to uh, on my eye shot, on my eye base to really make them stand out. But they are so pretty. Look at that blue right there. That blueberry skull. The one I used a lot was Avocado Toast, which is this beautiful mint green. I mean, they're buttery. And even though pastels can feel can be a little chalky, they don't look chalky on the eye. So that's why I do like them. And then this right here. This, of course... Is the weekend festival palette, which I have the new festival palette coming, and I am I am thinking about doing a, a little comparison with something else. But yes, this is the weekend festival palette right here by BH Cosmetics. I think it is still available. I'd have to check. This is such a pretty palette. If you do not, if you can still get your hands on this, this is a beautiful spring palette. It has enough neutrals in it so you can do some neutral looks and it has your pop of color so that you can have that little bright look. It is everything. And speaking of BH Cosmetic, this is my last palette. This is my Nouveau Neutrals. Baby. This was made for this season though. This is a beautiful coral pink, mauvey, uh, just look at it. Let's just look at it for a minute. It's a beautiful coral pink, mauve neutrals. Because these are those new neutrals, like, you know, Huda with the new nudes and everything. This was before them. And it's a very, I love the corals right up in here. And then it has a beautiful, like, shell pinks and light pinks and the mauves because these are mauves and this is like a cool tone brown it's got a little gray in it so so it gives you that whole cool tone feel to it and then the shimmers down here are beautiful they're not too much because like i said i don't i don't necessarily need a blinding metallic i like shimmers i like a good shimmer that you can build up and this can be built up it can be done use dry or spray your brush and it is it is awesome and then this actually has these really nice blushes that i have to remember to use because i tend to forget about them and even down here even though i am not into these colors down here these are some beautiful beautiful uh, like this, this is like such a beautiful champagne-y color. Look at her right there. It's like a little champagne right there for your eyes. I'm going to have to play with that. I'm going to have to play with that color because I think it's gorgeous now that I'm looking at it. Sometimes you 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 play with stuff and you go, oh, that's not my style. And then look at it again and say, you know, I can work, rock that. So this is one of my favorite palettes for the spring and summer. Got it last year. Couldn't put it away. But but let's be honest, the weekend festival was my shit last year. Y'all know what I was talking about all the time. Anyway, anyhow, anywho. That is the end of my OG spring collection. I would love to hear about yours. Make sure you leave me some information about your OG spring products in the description box. Oh, and when it comes down to like um pro I will be doing face products like the my powders and my, you know, how I change up for the spring and summer because I got to be real with y'all now. 
this is Chicago. We are still in winter time. It has really not gotten warm. So I haven't really, so I'm still without any color. So I can't really talk about my foundation products or anything like that that I use because it, it, it'll look terrible right now. Cause it'll be like, girl, it's like three shades darker than you. So I will be doing those products later and talk about the, the my foundations, SPFs and all that stuff that I really use for the summertime. So don't forget that will be coming. Now, if you are in the replay, if you are in live chat with me this Sunday, thank you as always for hanging out with me on a Sunday night, giving up your time, typing up and chatting with me. And I'm not even live. I know some of y'all, this is kind of a weird uh, concept, but I really like it when we can do this. And if you watch this afterwards and make it this far, damn, you like me a lot. I appreciate you. I really do. Make sure you leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. And I know, no, I don't normally say that, but you know, sometimes you got to say it to remind y'all to, to what y'all got to do. All right. So if it, it's your Lulu, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later. Spirit fingers. So, hey, gorgeous ones, time for another Sunday premiere. And like I said, and I don't know if you, please, and I love shimmers in the summer and the spring, spring and, and I love shimmer, I love shimmer blushes in the, um, 